DeVeo Media presents Little Story Series How to Follow Your Dream by Dale Neal Deep in the woods there once lived a squirrel, Jamie, who had never climbed a tree. Every day he would gaze up at the treetops, dreaming of all the wonderful adventures he might have up there. But the trees seemed so high, and he was just too afraid. One day, Jamie's friends were happily playing in the highest tree in the forest. He wanted to join them so much that he decided to face his fear. So looking up, he took a deep breath and bravely began to climb. At the first branch, Jamie met the wise old forest owl, resting after a busy night's hunting. Good morning, young squirrel. How are you today? said the owl. Good morning, Mr. Owl, replied Jamie. This is the first time I've ever climbed a tree and I'm quite frightened. Don't be afraid, said the wise old owl. Just climb one branch at a time. You will face many challenges in the tree, but keep going. For when you get to the top, you will receive a wonderful reward. Thank you, Mr. Owl, replied Jamie, and he continued to climb. At the second branch, Jamie happened upon a big brown bear, lazily dozing after having eaten all the honey from the bee's nest in the tree. Go back, squirrel, said the bear. I'm about to have a snooze. My belly is filled to bursting, and I will not be moved. How can I get past? Jamie wondered. Jamie noticed the bear's big, bulging belly. That looks very bouncy, he thought to himself. Jamie dived onto the bear's giant, bouncy belly as though it was an enormous trampoline. Yippee! Not today, Mr. Bear! Jamie shouted as he bounced high up into the tree. At the next branch, Jamie saw a slippery, slithering snake coiled around the tree. Mmm, fresh squirrel, my favorite, hissed the snake. I haven't eaten all morning, and I am very hungry. As the snake lunged, Jamie bravely leapt into the air and grabbed onto the snake's tail. Take that, Mr. Snake! Ha-ha! Jamie yelled as he skillfully swung around the branch even higher up the tree. When he landed, Jamie was standing beside a bustling bee's nest. There was honey all over the branch. Turn back, young squirrel, they buzzed. A bear has pinched all our honey. We're very angry and you may get stung if you come by us today. How can I get through? Jamie wondered. Just then, he noticed a big pile of brown and yellow leaves on the branch. Sticking the leaves all over himself with honey, Jamie cunningly disguised himself as a bee. Buzz, buzz, I'm a real bee, a very real bee. Buzz, buzz, Jamie said as he carefully crept through the swarm. Surprisingly, the bee seemed convinced by Jamie's disguise and left him alone as he pressed on further up the tree. At the next branch, Jamie met a woodpecker, pecking a cozy little nest in the tree for his young family. By this time, he was very tired and was wondering if he would ever reach the top. Could I rest here for a while, Mr. Woodpecker? asked Jamie. I'm very weary and I'm trying to climb all the way to the top of the tree. I'm afraid my nest is only small, said the woodpecker, way too small for a squirrel. Oh no, what shall I do, replied Jamie. I'm so tired and I need to climb even further if I'm going to reach the top. There are lots of fresh chestnuts on this tree. If you can find them, they'll give you the energy you need to continue. Thank you, Mr. Woodpecker, said Jamie, and off he went in search of the tasty chestnuts. Using all his squirrel skills, Jamie easily found the nuts and he munched and nibbled and crunched until he was nice and full. Then, feeling refreshed, he continued further on up the tree. 
Jamie was nearly at the top now, and the branches were swaying in the wind. He looked down at the forest floor. He was so high up that he was afraid to continue. Just then, Jamie's friends cheered down to him from the treetop. You can do this, Jamie! Come and join us at the top! Encouraged by his friends, Jamie looked up, faced his fears, and bravely climbed to the very top of the tree. And the wise old owl was right. Jamie did receive a wonderful reward. He felt fantastic, and he was no longer afraid. And as he sat with his friends to gaze across the lush green forest, the view was truly wonderful. The End